Hello everyone, welcome to Cuckman Curbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the WeatherStack API to get current weather data. Now, you might remember that a while back, I posted a tutorial about how to use the Yahoo Weather API. But, that doesn't work anymore because they deprecated the API and replaced it with a new one that's different and harder to get access to. However, the WeatherStack API works really well. I used it. The only thing is you are limited to 1,000 calls per month unless you pay money. It's $10 a month for more. And if you want to get forecasts, then you have to pay $50 a month. So I'm not going to show you how to get forecasts because I'm not going to pay for that. But anyway, just put in the name of any city or a zip code and it'll get you the weather. Let's do Fairbanks, Alaska. Fifty four degrees out, cloud cover zero. Hmm. Cool, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. So to get started, pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. And for the request of some commenters, I'm gonna make the code be pretty big so that everyone can read well. And start with the doc type tag, exclamation mark doc type HTML. Okay, now we're just going to make an input first. Input placeholder, if you want to do a placeholder, equals in quotes city slash zip because this is where you're going to be putting the city or zip and let's give it the ID of search. You can call it whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to call it. Now make a select, select. ID equals, well, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it units since that's what it's going to be selecting. And then add an option, option tag, value equals, in quotes, F. And then inside of it, put Fahrenheit. And then close the option tag. Now, make another option tag. Give it the value of M and inside of it put Celsius. I can't spell. And close the option tag. So what that does is it makes a little box where you can select your units and then make a button. Give it an on click event. On click equals and in quotes get weather open parentheses close parentheses or whatever you want I guess you can call the function whatever you want I'm gonna call it get weather and then inside it put something like get weather and close the button tag okay cool now on the next line add an image tag don't give it an SRC Give it an ID though. ID equals, I'm just going to call it image, but you can call it whatever you want. And if you want to do this, you don't have to. This one's very optional. But style equals border dash radius colon 5px for 5 pixels. This is absolutely not important, but it gives the image rounded edges because rounded edges look good. So that's that's what I'm doing. You don't have to if you don't want. You can do whatever you want. You can make them more round even. And finally make a div. Div ID equals open quotes. Output. Close the quotes. Don't put anything inside it and close the div tag. Cool. That's the HTML. Now up here at the top, or wherever you want, I'm putting it at the top. Make a script tag couple lines and close the script tag. Cool. Now inside it make a function. Call it get weather. Function get weather. Unless you don't want to call it get weather, call it whatever you put in here. Open curly braces and then inside make a variable called city. Var city or you can call it whatever you want I guess. Equals 
document dot get element with a capital E, the first one, by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, open quotes, search, close quotes, close parentheses, dot value, semicolon. Now make another variable, var units equals document dot get element with a capital E, by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, in parentheses and in quotes, units, close quotes, close parentheses, dot value, semicolon. And that will make a variable called city with whatever you put inside this input here, and a variable called units, which will be whatever you put in this input or select right here. Awesome. And we should close the curly braces out the outside. All right. Now type fetch to make a web request, open parentheses and open quotes. And you can just paste the link that I'm going to put in the description, but I'm going to type it right here. HTTP colon slash slash question mark access underscore key equals and here, you're going to paste in the API key that they give you once you make an account. So I'm going to go find mine right now. Now I'm just going to copy my API key and paste that right there. OK. Now type ampersand query equals and close the quotes plus city. So we're going to put the, the city there, plus, and open quotes again, ampersand units equals, close the quotes, plus units. And finally, close the parentheses. But don't put a semicolon here. This should not happen. Don't do it. It'll mess everything up and you won't know what went wrong. It's the semicolon. Don't put a semicolon there. OK. Dot then on the next line. Open parentheses. A equals sign greater than sign. A dot JSON. Open parentheses, close parentheses. And then close the parentheses on the outside. What this does is it just gives you the response, but as a JavaScript object that you can parse and read. Don't put a semicolon at the end of this line either. You See that? Don't do it. Now make another dot then on the next line and put response equals sign greater than sign open curly braces close them a couple lines down and then inside document dot get element with a capital E, by with a capital B, ID with a capital I, open parentheses, image, close quotes. Oh yeah, also put it in quotes. Close parentheses, dot SRC equals response dot current dot weather underscore icons open square brackets, zero, close square brackets, semicolon. Now on the next line, document dot get element by ID. Oh yeah, and do, use the same capital letters from here. Open parentheses and open quotes, output, close quotes, close parentheses dot inner HTML, inner HTML with a capital H T M N L equals open quotes. Make an H1 tag and then close the quotes plus response dot current dot weather underscore descriptions open square brackets zero. 
close the square brackets. Plus sign, open quotes again, and close the H1 tag. Now type temperature. colon, space, close quotes, plus, response, dot current, dot temperature, plus, open quotes again, br, tag to make a line break, feels like, space, close quotes, plus response, dot current dot feels like one word plus open quotes again line break uv index colon space close quotes plus response dot current dot uv underscore index plus open those quotes again line break oh yeah we're doing another line break humidity colon space close quotes plus response dot current dot humidity Plus, and I think you can see where this is going, line break. This is the last one, don't worry. Cloud cover, colon, space, close quotes, plus, response, dot current, dot cloud cover, one word. Semicolon. Now, there are a few more things that it gives you, but... If you want to go and find out what they are, try looking at this API endpoint with a random query and whatever units you prefer to use in Firefox, and it'll give you like a nice structured view where you can see all the different things. Uh, anyway, close the parentheses there and add a semicolon at the end. And that's it. Save the file. Let's call it weather html save oh you see that there's already a weather html on my computer you know why it's from that yahoo tutorial from all those years back it wasn't that long ago so i guess we'll do weather stack html and save all right cool now open up your favorite browser which of course is Firefox, I mean, no pressure or anything, and look up your file, which I can't seem to find. Weatherstack.html, drag it into Firefox. What's a city? Let's do, let's do Atlanta. And where's our button? Oh, there's a mistake in the code. See here, there's the select tag and all these option tags. I forgot to close the select tag. So if you made that same mistake, fix it. Close the select tag. Save the file, reload your browser. Now there's a button. Let's do Atlanta. Okay, we got the, the cloudy picture. So it's cloudy in Atlanta. We didn't get anything else. Also, there should have been a line break after the button. Okay, found the problem. I spelled descriptions wrong. Okay, save that, reload in the browser. Now we're gonna search up Atlanta. Now it better work. And look at that, it works. It's partly cloudy in Atlanta. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And remember that forgetting how to talk is out of the question.